Now I'd like to show you how you can create standard audio files from within MATLAB. MATLAB includes several built-in audio clips that can be accessed using load. Load gong, for example, gets me the signal in Y and the sampling rate in F sub S. Other built-in audio clips are listed here. Let's take a listen to this sound clip using sound. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now suppose you wanted to take this sound clip that presently only exists in an, an array in MATLAB. We'd like to save that out as a standard audio file. We use audio write for that purpose. We give it the file name, the signal, and the sampling rate. Let's see if we can figure out the problem here. It says no file extension for file gong. Supported extensions include free lossless audio codec, MPEG-4 audio, Og Vorbis Audio and Microsoft Wave. And a little bit later, we see some additional messages, not super clear, but it turns out that if we give the desired extension, that's how AudioWrite figures out what we meant. Now we're getting a warning here. It says data clipped when writing the file. If I find the maximum value in this audio array, it's greater than one. Now we need our audio samples to lie in the range plus minus one. Standard technique here, we divide the audio array by the maximum absolute value of the audio array. Now we see that the max value is one and the audio write proceeds without complaint. Let's try some of the other variations. Free lossless audio codec or FLAC file. Let's try another popular one. This is M4A. Unsupported sample rate value. All right, now our sample rate presently is 8192 hertz. You can easily resample to any desired more standard rate, such as CD quality sound, 44.1 kilohertz. We say the desired sampling rate, comma, the existing sampling rate. Let's just make sure that this still works. Yes, we can hear the sound playing at this new sample rate of CD quality sound. Let me redefine the sampling rate as this value and then do an audio write. Hmm, evidently the resampling process also changed the amplitude a bit. Looks like the maximum absolute value is above one. Let me do that earlier command and normalize it back to the plus minus one range. Everything's fine. There's MPEG-4. And finally, let's give Og Vorbis a try. Two different ways of creating that type of a file. Take a moment to go out to the file system. Go to our current working directory. We see all of the different files that have been created, and I'll sort them by file size. It's just kind of interesting to observe how you can get different compression rates going here, some resulting in more compressed or smaller files than others. You can find out a lot more detail about making choices about how the compression is handled by looking at the help win for audio write. In particular, I'll draw your attention to this area especially looking at bits per sample and bit rate. These are how you can take a little more control over the compression that ends up getting used for these files. All right, I'd like to finish up by showing you how you can get some information about an existing audio file and also how you can read that audio file into MATLAB. Audio info, give it the name of the desired file. And that reveals a lot of information. Again, stereo or mono, the sampling rate that was used, total number of samples available. And then when you have an audio file that you'd like to read in, we use audio read for that purpose. We need to give it the file name as a string. And you need to specify 
two destinations for the output of audio read. One would be the signal itself, which I'm calling the variable f, and then also the sampling rate, capital F sub s. Let's do one quick play with sound to make sure we read that one in properly. 